TF2 is an old game where you commit horrible war crimes on a group of racists, maniacs, and racist people. This game is fast paced, funny, and disruptive towards your mental health. It's also addictive and actually a fun FPS, which I mean, I haven't seen one of those in a while. If you've wanted to know what it's like to be deadly, deceiving, and devilishly handsome, you've come to the right place because I regret not playing TF2 sooner, and you will too. The Soldier, the Demo Man, and the Spy. Now, anyone who's made content on this is spoken about the soldier, a patriot who suffers from severe lead poisoning. She shoots at people's feet with rocket launches, and, and sure, you can use a shotgun, but I reckon any player understanding how this game works will switch that over for some boots. And also, you know, some banners as well, which work much better. He does solid damage and is super good for beginners. After all, you simply aim at the feet, right? Any pro will tell you that this man is the baseline. He's an S tier, jack of all trades, master of some of them. He has high health, good damage, and is relatively conventional, especially for someone who's never played the game. And so when I launched into my first game, I grabbed my mouse and moved it to the- I, I, I chose Spy. Uh, yeah, I don't know why the hell I decided to, to you know, be weak, but I, I did. Actually, no, what I meant to say was that I regret choosing being French. I got brutally murdered by the real Kanye West. And honestly, I really wish I had a white flag shoved up my- ID cloak, and then just before I get a stab, well, damn, that's tough. And here, where I bump into a soldier and get sent from Australia to China in one single blast, not to mention the accidental demo kills and the schizo pyros, I swear, pipes and huntsman's arrows have single handedly killed me way too many times. Here's what I learned people are sussed out. I mean, who knows, you know? It's almost like they haven't gotten an update for the past. They turn around and, well, they shoot you. However, I've also learned that when you get a good kill, Hill, you feel like the second coming of Christ. Getting that single important pick can be the difference between losing and winning a point. Plus, the burst dopamine of this class is on a whole nother level. Because look at this, it's risk versus reward, baby. And let me tell you, when a you when you and and let me tell you, when you get a chain stab like that, you feel like the second coming of Christ. Because damn, does it feel really damn good good. Like I said, it's risk versus reward. I, I mean, you know, uh, you could use the dead ringer and then there's no risk, but it's risk versus reward. Look at this, the time is about to end because I decided to queue into casual and I, I sneak behind them, do some amazing acting that would make even Adam Sandler's proud and, and bam, one, two, three, it feels amazing. There's only one problem with this technique though. Uh, my KDR is, um, <clears throat> uh, so that's fair, but I, I want to kill. I want to see the kill feed go crazy. Plus, I think every player on my team wants to send a pipe bomb to me. S so I reckon I should play a more respectable kit if that's the way to say it. See, quick but short ranged bursts of damage and maneuverability is just not my thing. And going invisible seems to just, I, I just can't wrap my head around it. So yeah, maybe it's time to suck it up and choose salt. The demo man is from the great land of Ireland and wields high explosives. See, this Welshman is powerful and, and when I say powerful, I mean very powerful because you will quickly feel it. Especially on defense, his sticky bomb launcher is, in my opinion, the best weapon in the entire game. Well, I mean, just beaten out by the fish. Anyway, stickies are, well, they're really fun. Sure, you can take lazy purple's advice and shoot them from mid-range, but the real fun is this. This is a this is a choke point, and, and for a demo man, oh, it's pure joy because with a simple left click and then a right click. Now, like any good Englishman, he also has the ability to, uh, to British someone, and if that wasn't fun enough, he, ha he has one last tool in his arsenal, a weapon passed down directly from the the pipe launcher. If there's one word to describe the demo man, it would be deadly. He hits like a truck, but he's also, you know, he's prone to also getting hit by a truck because he really has no consistent good range capabilities at my skill level. Because I mean, how am I supposed to hit a pipe against you? He's super duper fun. And here's the thing, he's hard to play. Okay, I get it. Sticky spamming is, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, fair enough. But landing all those good pipes and, and keeping yourself alive with good positioning, that's something that takes a lot of time to master. I need to find someone who's super duper good at everything. Someone who's powerful, explosive, and has a massive health pool. She had the gritty for Ukraine. No! Heavy is my favorite type of character because he's a big, big, juicy man. Oh! 
Big men are my favorite. Oh my god. Big men are my favorite. Well, just second to my my favorite thing. Uh, subscribing. Uh, firstly, please comment. Every time you guys do that, my, my analytics go crazy. And, and the video pops off and I'm, I'm super grateful. So, so please, please comment. Yeah, this video took a lot of time and it took... Uh, yes, I love doing it. It's my, this is my dream job. So please subscribe. Heavy's minigun is really powerful as well. Unlike some other heavies we can talk about, he does a lot of damage with it. Like, a lot of damage. If there's no cover, soldiers won't even bother fighting you because at mid-range, they're nothing to you. It's... Especially with a medic, which is exactly why he's so powerful in pubs. Take a look at this clip. I don't even think I need to explain anything because damn, how am I still alive? Heavy also has a minigun that goes, -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? It is quite honestly ridiculous amounts of close to mid range damage, but uh, you need to, you know, prepare for it and it has really bad spread. So it is pretty balanced. You also get completely screwed if there's a corner because you get no sweet splash damage and the enemy soldiers and pyros do. Did I just say pyros? I meant demos, my bad guys. Now, if you ever meet a medic, you'll know that these two go together like peanut butter and jelly. And let me tell you, there's a reason why. An Uber plus coordination is how you turn a game from a hopeless stalemate into a winning push. And it's very satisfying. This goes for every medigun, except for the Chris Krieg, which has an Uber that's, well, we'll get to that part later when we talk about soldier. Plus, because I'm a traitor and run heavy with a shotgun, his slow time to rev and shoot is less of a problem. While he's not nearly as versatile as Soldier or Medic or even Scout, that doesn't really mean anything when he's so damn useful at what he does. However, you're like a Magnus because spies will ruin your life and snipers and coordinated teams and scouts and... So you're gonna need to constantly be stepping over eggshells and unfortunately for you, you weigh a lot and eggshells are pretty delicate. The Sniper, a class that makes you go, bro, this class is so damn easy and unfair. When he dinks you with a headshot from halfway across the map. However, when you pick him, you realize it's just as easy as it looks. Okay, okay, let me explain myself, all right? The sniper is uh, hard to play, but the reason I think he's easy is because of the uneven risk versus reward. Because in the grand scheme of things, you face practically no risk for a lot of reward. He's very powerful, especially in good sniper spots and chokes, and your only real counter is just spies and other snipers. And I mean, you have an item that just counters spies entirely. And while sniper duels are incredibly nerve-wracking and blood-pumping, especially when you're both aimed at each other, most of the time it's really just, oh look, there's a sniper over there. He's undoubtedly my least favorite class, but that's only because he's just not for me. I like getting into the action super quickly and then jumping out before going back in, being a massive offense to the enemy team. Plus, I I hate snipers. They 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 just keep killing me. However, this doesn't really allow me to. to what, wait, what's that? Wait, um. Uh, what, what the- what the fuck is that? Please stop, please stop. The Huntsman is, is fun. A, a little luck-based, uh, yeah, but- but fun. You become, one, a midliner, and secondly, a projectile-based class, and while you're sacrificing your OP abilities and trade for, a uh, uh, well, this, it is undoubtedly one of the most fun weapons in the entire game. Now, uh, to be granted, you sometimes get screwed and wonder, you know, what your life even means, especially when you shoot an enemy 50 times and they just don't really want to die, but when it hits, it really, really hits. And speaking of snipers being satisfying to play, I also can't deny that a good sniper round is a good sniper round. Getting headshots left, right, and center does feel good. It feels a little guilty, but I mean, uh, you know. Overall, Sniper is a fun class. He, he really just, and I have to repeat this, isn't for me. However, at the end of the day, clicking on enemy heads and removing the will to live out of enemy gamers can be pretty fun at times, and I respect it. However, I'm, I'm tired of this joke, so I'm gonna get to the point where I where I pick my main. Something that does a lot of damage is versatile and, and who, who the hell am I kidding? We both know that I'm not gonna talk about the big guy himself yet. I, I chose Pyro. Why? Well, I well, because everyone keeps saying it's easy, and, and so I mean, I, I might as well give it a try. Now, here's something I gotta say. Let me introduce you to Loki. He's my pocket. We stream TF2 at twitch.tv slash vmediocrity. <laughs> uh, please subscribe. And he's a medic, and I'm a pyro. Why? Why do they do this? Oh, WN1 time.
Pyro is an interesting class because fundamentally he just goes forward and presses the left click button, but he seemingly is designed to be a combo class. Items like the Degreaser allow you to switch weapons super easily and land flare shots, which, well, they're just really damn fun to hit. He also has an air blast, which in all reality isn't, uh, isn't too skill based, but it needs at least a couple brain cells, so, so I forgive it. However, it can make a Pyro a really good support class because you can deflect uncoming rockets and, and save team members. Uh, I mean, I see potential, but but I mean, this just ain't it. I can't get anywhere, and I kill people so damn slowly. I, I swear to God, if I wanted to do no damage, I would have played Overwatch. <laughs> Th this isn't it. it. It seems impossible. Maybe I should just no. no. I have I have one more plan. Three medics, scorch shot, and a, a flog. Do, do I deserve to go to hell? Uh, well, you tell me. Go, go, go. You should have told me for the right, but. Yeah. Go, go, go. Oh, that, that oh, looks disgusting. Even, oh, 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 my god. Oh, it's not even fair. It's gone now. Wow, that was so, um, maybe it's time to wrap up this joke. I I've always wanted to be, you know, the ultimate definition of THE American. And honestly, at this point, I, I might as well. Maybe I really should just equip the rocket launcher and... You like Texas? Uh, I know I don't, but I like Uncle Dane, so, so, you know, it seems like a pretty good time to me. Engineer is a generally defensive class. He has dispensers and teleporters to hold a point and a, a sentry to, 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 well, uh, to hold a point. Now, you could go into the front lines, shotguns and, and turrets in hand, but that requires skill, which I do not have. When I say NG is good at defense, I mean it, because a sentry can shut down a lot of classes, and it can single-handedly stop pushes. However, if you're bad at the NG, it really shows. He's probably one of the hardest classes to get the grafts on. And and trust me, uh, you do not want to play Baddison because a team without a dispenser is a team that is not very happy. His kit is powerful, yes, he might have two secondary weapons, but combined with his turret, it's a 2v1 with a slightly less fat scout and a legless heavy. He's powerful, and the difference between winning and losing, especially on defense, is using that turret correctly. Three engineers camping the point? Now this is gaming. The enemy team is, let me promise you, not having a fun time. But but hey, we're having fun, so it, you know it doesn't really matter, does it? But but you know we're, we're all we're all good on the engineer front. So let me, how do I? I don't want to transition out of this. I, I really want to talk about this. This section is about the scout, probably the most fun class in TF2, in my opinion. Why? Well, uh, how do I say this? Meat shots are sick. They feel good. Post nut clarity good. KFC bucket good. Cocaine good. But like all of those things I just mentioned, it, it fades off because uh, you can easily get beat into the ground over and over and over again because you are pretty damn weak. If the enemy gets the first shot on you, uh, you die. A pyro turns around, you're dead. A heavy? Well, oh, actually, they're pretty easy to kill. Uh, they just have a lot of health. <laughs> oh my god, I'm whipping every <laughs> single up, shot. The point is, sometimes Scout just ain't it. Especially on certain maps, there are no alternative routes for you. Dust Bowl, for example, though he's mostly bad because every class is better. Or Gold Rush. These maps suck for Scouts, especially at my skill level. And it's those moments that make you wonder why you pick this class. However, maps like Gorge, Upwards, and, uh, Bread Space. <clears throat> These maps go dummy hard, especially on defense for me anyways. Sure, I hate that he has only one other good primary, and I sure hey bonk with a burning passion, but I mean, he's just so fun. When you switch off him, you, you, you feel like your ankles have just been ripped off because he's really, really fun, and he does a lot of damage. Like I said, movement, shooting. It's it's the best combination on this earth. Well, I mean, maybe behind his, uh, subscribing and the mediocrity chat. Scouts are also probably the easiest easiest class to start off, and hey, 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 before you comment down it's actually Soldier, I want you to imagine this. An FPS player who, who's never dabbled in projectiles, what do you think he'll be more familiar with? A rocket launcher that does really good splash damage but is hard to hit a direct hit on, or just a shotgun that is 
basically, you know, unconventional weapon. Exactly. Every other class moves slowly and shoots pretty slowly as well, and he breaks both of those norms. He also gets a cool double jump, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay. Uh, alright. This might just be the two friends I show to the game, but they really didn't like TF2 until I showed them the funny Chicago man. Or was it Detroit? Okay, now let me finally get to him. Yes. That man, he's the myth, the legend, the patriot, the soldier. Soldier is really, really fun. He does a lot of damage, is super forgiving in the health department, and has the best movement in the entire game. He's the definition of easy to learn, hard to master, and he's super damn fun for it. Plus, unlike certain characters, he's amazing in every single map, being a good duelist and a team fighter. His rockets are also very, very forgiving, but damn fun to play, and each hit feels deserved, especially on the direct hit, which is super hard to master, but it does a ridiculous amount of damage if you do. He also has the benefit of, well, being a good medic pick. Let's just say that there's a reason that he's the most common main, and it's because he's always fun. Unlike scouts or snipers, it's hard for me to have a bad day when you play the soldier. You can simply turn off your brain and shoot some enemy gamers, and sometimes you get some really nasty chain kills, or, you know, multi-kills, or kill streaks, and they just feel really, really fun. And unlike some other classes I can talk about, I can actually make them last and actually continue them. A generalist that can actually be the best pick for the job. Plus, being half AFK on the keyboard while watching some YouTube videos or talking with some mates makes him a really good pick for casual sessions. The perfect main. But speaking of casual sessions, we have the medic, a simple class where you simply hold left click and, you know, combine it with some good movement. I mean, you're fine. Uber at the right time and please your teammates. That's right, Medic is the best and he's my main and I love him because he's really easy and I got kick, kick, kick for being, kicked for being idle? Okay, so you can't really brain rot an AFK on the keyboard as Medic, or at least with my current skill level you can't, but that doesn't mean he's not fun. Some games, you really do feel like the center of your team, evenly dispersing heals and Ubers and crossing hand in hand to victory. Plus, he has a wide range of many guns, and unlike some other primary I can talk about, all of them are really, really good. The default stock minigun has good healing, amazing overheal, and the best uber in the game, granting you and your pocket invincibility for 8 seconds. Next is the Chris Krieg, which is the same as stock, but instead of invincibility, you get to wipe out an entire damn team because you get crits for 8 seconds as well, plus it also charges a bit faster. Then there's the Quick Fix, which can easily top off your entire team's health bar, being amazing for healing, but having an alright overheal and an uber that's quite frankly mid. It also has a really fun movement mechanic where you, where you can jump around with your friends. It's, it's really nice. And, and let's not forget about the Vax. The versatility is fun, and knowing you're always needed on a team is a good feeling. Plus, the Crusader's crossbow is one of the most fun weapons in the entire game. Landing shots that a normal medigun couldn't reach and instantly topping off your ally, potentially saving their lives. I mean, we won't talk about medic's other primaries, but you know, the Crusader's crossbow is really fun, so I mean, we can assume that every other primary is good and fun as well. You might think medic is a weird choice for me, and that's because... Well, he kind of is. He's not too flashy, you can't get too many chain kills of it, and he doesn't do that much damage. And that's why I'm not maining him, I'm still maining Soldier, but I want you to look at this goddamn clip. However, he kind of does suffer from the same issues as Heavy, and well, you will be the enemy pick class's little slut, because you can trust me when I say that no sightlines, no teammates, and no teammates can be trusted, because the moment a scout, a spy, or a sniper finds you, you are dead. However, there's moments that make you feel like the king of this world, and damn, that's a good feeling. In conclusion, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me twice as long to make as my other projects, and I really enjoyed producing it. If you did, please do leave a comment. In, in fact, if you've made it this far, comment down your main and why you, you know, why you chose it, and I'll heart it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is, this has undoubtedly been the best video that I've ever made and hopefully there will be more videos like this on the way. You can also catch me live at twitch.tv slash mediocrity and okay, I'm, I'm dragging this on too long. Thank you for watching, uh, subscribe, bye bye!